back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back with an interesting video for you. I just found this at my local Walmart and I picked it up for a couple of reasons. They're stainless steel. That's the first reason. They were cheap. I paid like 10 bucks for this thing. It was like $9 and some change. And it has a 1.9 liter pot and a 1.35 liter pot. And it comes with a lid also. It also kind of caught my attention because it comes with a stuff sack and I picked it up the price was good let's take a look and see what we have inside so let's open it up so the first thing I see decent little stuff sack you can tell that it's kinda made with uh, kinda thinner materials I'm not knocking it I'm just saying you know I'm just telling you what I see here so you open it up first thing that you see looks like a lid the lid is not vented anywhere it doesn't have any holes or anything so that you can uh, drain you know if you're cooking pasta or something now I do like that they made this out of metal it's pot welded here so kinda looks pretty good okay so far let's pull this out of the stuff sack here set the stuff sack in there so inside you have the uh, smaller pot <laughs> and it has these little handles they're not going together here so I'm guessing I might have to figure something out they have a rubber coating on it I don't know what to think about that honestly because uh, I think that rubber coating is going to get burned off in the fire honestly looks like a decent pot pretty good construction no measurements or anything like that but uh, yeah it looks like a decent pot uh, the rubber I'm, I'm sure that's gonna come off these butterfly handles seem to fit pretty well against the pot so let's take a look at this one this is a larger pot a little bit taller than the last one kind of rough craftsmanship inside if they lathed it out or something or something there's like a rough feel to it I'm not knocking it, I'm just saying the quality control, I don't know. Maybe they kind of rushed putting these out. Well, for the price, though, the price point that they were aiming for was $10 price line. I mean, of course, they got to do something, right? So, these uh, butterfly handles, again, they have rubber on them. I guess that's to prevent you from burning your hands, but, you know, I've always grabbed a, a bandana or something before I grab something out of the fire. But uh, yeah, I like the size of the pot, 1.9 uh, liter, and then 1.35 liter. So the lid fits. It just sits on gravity alone. It doesn't snap in or nothing. So it's not not crazy. But for 10 bucks, I mean, come on, what do you what do you expect? So it's got a little recess on the inside here, so it'll fit this smaller pan. So it's kind of cool. So gravity, yeah, we could we could set these lids down. I like it so far. I think it's going to be a decent set for the money. You know, for ten dollars, I mean, you're you're getting a stainless steel two pots and a lid. I mean, what more can you ask for, honestly? So it comes with a decent little stuff sack, which I like because it keeps everything together for you. You know, and it doesn't have to be super heavy duty stuff sack is made out of a good material so if you're in a survival situation you could use that stuff sack as a for the lack of a better description you could use it as a fishing net if you had to so I kinda like that so you get a free net right when you buy these pots <laughs> so for ten bucks I, I don't I don't think it's a bad purchase at all now I'm gonna definitely take it out and use the hell out of it over a fire and we're gonna see how they hold up and I'm gonna cook in them and things like that and we'll see what happens now I think the the place that they're trying to compete with is this Stanley set. Okay, now this Stanley set is a 1.6 liter pot. Comes with the bowls and stuff inside, and it has a little green tab here that burns off in the fire. Which I put a split key ring on there, and it you know I can still get it out of the fire just fine. Just put a stick through there, or a piece of cordage or something. So the point that I'm trying to make is they've drilled these and they've vented it up here so if you're cooking pasta or something you could drain the water out so 
I'm sure that I'll probably be taking a drill bit to this lid to kind of mimic this 1.6 quart, excuse me, pot set. And uh, I paid $24 for this. Now it did come with some bowls and stuff. You know, it come with two plates, which could be doubled as cutting boards, and it came with a ladle and a spatula and two bowls. So that's kind of cool. It all nests together. If you haven't seen it, the uh, ladle and spatula have a slide release buckle system. Nah, they work pretty good. But this kit, I really like the Stanley one. I really like it. But uh, again, 24 bucks is what I paid. So for a lower price point, I figured I'd pick up the Sozark Trail. I like using a one pound uh, section of ground beef because I feel like that's one of the best tests, I guess you could say. So I'm unwrapping some ground beef right now. So there's one pound. Fits in there pretty well. Just out of curiosity, I'm wondering what it would look like in this uh, smaller pan here. Grab that real quick. So if I had it in that pan, it would look something like that. So I think it would do it. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna change. I'm gonna try to cook it in this pan, in the smaller pan, just for just for fun on the video let's see how this little pan does 1.3 quart I'm gonna be making some spaghetti there's my glass bowl and my sieve they have a nice rim on the side of the pans too so you can grab them with these pot supports so you can use those too if you don't want to use the handles I use these all the time to hold my pans and to move them. I'm going to go ahead and put my noodles in. I like these. These are the Mexican ones. They're very good noodles. And I know somebody out there is probably going to say, dude, why don't you break them in half? They go in the pan easier. I don't break them in half because I know that as they cook they're going to fall and they're going to get soft and that kind of serves to me as an indicator as to how far along the noodles are. These pans are nice little pans for ten dollars. Without a doubt. So in the amount of time that it takes for those noodles to get going by the time those noodles are cooking, the ground beef will be done. Let's go ahead and take this and see how it goes. Take our ground beef. So it looks like our ground beef is all cooked up pretty good. Let's get our can of ragu mushroom. Super chunky. right in the pan I just put a little water in here so I can get the rest out of this there we go now we're gonna add our more mushrooms drain this and I'll be right back. Here comes our mushrooms. And that fills that pan pretty good. That's pretty full. Normally I like to put the uh, ground beef in here as well but it doesn't look like this small pan is going to fit so let's see what happens here 
See if we can get some of this ground beef in here anyway. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we should have done this in the larger pan, folks. So this is a learning experience. We, we now know that the uh, pan, the smaller one, will be the one for boiling the noodles and the top, the bigger one, will be the one for uh, making the sauce. Because look at that. That is every bit of the capacity of that pan. <laughs> that cracks me up. Here comes Big Brother to the rescue. So next time we will know that the larger pan can do the uh, the sauce and the uh, ground beef, but the small one won't. The small one we'll use for the noodles. So I'm going to mix that meat in with the sauce. We are just about ready. Let's get some of these noodles. Check that out. Doesn't that look tasty? Let's get some of that good sauce on there. Check that out. Bon appetit, people. Doesn't that look tasty? I'm going to kick off this stove. Look at that meal. Mm. That looks really good. Delicious. This makes excellent leftovers. But I like to mix it all together. And then I let it cool. And then I put it in the refrigerator. So there's the leftover spaghetti. So when my daughter gets home, she'll be ready to eat. You know, she does track practice and all that stuff. So when she gets home, she'll be hungry. So again, folks, I want to say thank you for watching. Hope you got some good, useful information out of this video. Please feel free to thumbs up, leave comments down below. And if you like the content on my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And until next time, have a beautiful day. And I can honestly tell you uh, that I like these pans. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Again, this is the Ozark Terrell three-piece cookware set. 1.9 liter pot and a 1.35 liter pot with a lid. So I think it's going to be a good set. So, appreciate you watching. I'm going to take it out in the field and we're going to bang it over the fire and see what happens. It's a little bit taller than the Stanley if you look at it. Of course, the pot's larger, so I think it's going to be a good set for us. Thanks for watching.